Well, let's go ahead and get started with the better balance. Remember, the intention is to get better from the place you are today. All right, whether um, you're able to stand on one foot for a longer period of time without holding on, everyone's at a different spot in place. So you need to ensure that you are focused on that only, okay? Don't get caught up in trying to do something that's not gonna work for you this morning. So with the better balance, we have increased flexibility, increased strength in our ankles. We need that flexibility in our ankles. If they're tight, the tendons and the muscles, when we're walking and this happens, we're less likely to completely collapse on the ground and in addition to that, strain or pull a tendon or a muscle in that area, okay? Um, by doing some of the exercises and stretches we do for the class. Uh, muscle memory, we heard about Bai talking about that last week. She's out in a walk and she almost fell, but she just felt all her muscles kind of contract all at once and kept her upright. And she said she didn't even have to think about it, it just kind of all happened. That's the muscle memory, okay? And fall prevention, when we have ankle strength, when we have muscle memory, then we're less likely to fall. But if we do, the um, injury, the damage is hopefully not as severe as if you haven't been taking this class. All right, so let's go ahead and warm it up. We're gonna start behind the chair, take those feet back away from the body. And the feet are gonna be a little wider than hip width, okay? Take them wider than hip width, keep your core engaged, chest down towards the floor and hold it here for three, two, and one. Raise the chest up. Now bring those feet very, very close together, as close as you can. Hips go back, knees are soft, chest goes to the floor. And hold it here for three, two, and one, good. Raise the chest up, step forward with that right foot toward the chair, shift the hips forward. Make sure that right knee is right above that right ankle and take that left arm over to the right side of the room, okay? Press your left heel into the floor so we get a stretch in that left calf. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Release, and let's switch. Left foot in front, shift the hips forward, left knee aligned with the left ankle, Press that right heel into the floor. And yes, Diane, right arm over to the left side of the room. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Good, release that arm. Take that left foot back, right heel in front. Lower the hips and push that heel into the floor. Make sure your right toe is facing up to the ceiling, not off to the side. Hold it for three, two, and one. Raise up, left side, left heel. Lower the hips, push the heel into the floor and hold it here for three, two, one, and raise up. Good, good, good. Open up that stance behind the chair. Make sure your toes are facing forward. Shift the body weight over to the right side, making sure you are feeling a little bit of a stretch in the left inner thigh, okay? Hold it and back to the top center, over to the other side, shift the body weight and hold for three, good, good, two, and one, back to the top center, perfect, perfect, perfect. Still behind the chair, both palms on this chair, we're gonna go with that right leg first, then the right knee, and we're gonna take that right kneecap and make a circle in the air, stretching out those hip flexors for three, two, and one. One, good, same thing on the left side. Core is engaged and take that left kneecap up out and around for three, two, and one. Excellent. Now you're gonna turn that chair so you're facing the seat of the chair, okay? Both palms on the seat of the chair, right leg first, make sure you don't have anything behind you. You're gonna take that right toe up toward the ceiling. Okay, right toe up to the ceiling. Hold it here for three, two, one, and bring it down. And other side, left toe up to the ceiling for three, two, one, and bring that left leg down and go ahead and raise the chest up. Perfect, perfect. So we're gonna start with our chair in a very similar movement we just did with that leg up. We're gonna do our bird dogs, okay? 
With the bird dog, we're working on wrist strength, shoulder, chest, core, and legs, okay? So with the bird dogs, palms are gonna be on the seat of the chair. My feet are not way back here, okay? They're about a foot away from the legs of the chair. Right arm and left leg, opposites, okay? Opposite arm and leg, we're gonna extend and hold away from the body, okay? Right arm and left leg, extend and hold. For three, belly button and spine, two, and one, bring it in, excellent. Other side now, left arm and right leg, extend away from the body. Good, 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 good. Hold it here for three, two, one, and bring it in. Again, we're gonna switch right arm and left leg. And your head and your neck is in a neutral position. You're not looking up to the ceiling. You could be looking down at the floor to the chair. Release, other side, left arm, right leg. A nice neutral position with that head and neck for three, two, and one, last one on each side. Right arm, left leg, hold for three, two, and one, release. Last one, left arm and right leg, hold for three, two, one, and bring it in and raise the chest up. Woo, not bad, very, very good. Roll those shoulders back, loosen up the chest and shoulders for three, two and one let's get those heel lifts in so we're going to do our chest openers lift those heels up and bring it back in and lift good and back in one more open wide lift the heels and bring it back in excellent all right so we're going to start with our no i'm sorry not start we're going to go into our tree pose okay it's a yoga pose it's a balance pose it's a strength pose so the chair is going to be on your left hand side in case you need it and we're going to work with the right leg with the chair po uh, tree pose should i say the right foot is either the right tippy toe on the floor up against your left leg or below your left knee okay you're going to push your foot up against the left leg below the knee, not on the knee, all right? Arms are gonna go out to the side, core is engaged, nice dead. Belly button is spine, relax the shoulders, that's okay. Core, core, core for three, two, one. Bring those arms up above the head, push the palms together. There we go. Hold it there for three, two, good Diane, one. Bring the palms down in front of the chest. Push those palms together. <sighs> Relax the shoulders. Hold it for three, <laughs> two, one, and release. Excellent. Good job. Shake out the legs. Let's go to the other side. Now you could be better on this side. It could be a little bit more challenging. We will see. All right, with that left foot now. <clears throat> Up against that right leg, I'm gonna take my foot right below my right ankle, excuse me, my right knee. Head and chest up, relax the shoulders. Arms out to the side, fingertips away from the body. <sighs> oh my gosh, Diane, hold it there for three, two, and one. We're not doing the airplane right now. Palms up, overhead, hold it there. For three, two, one. Now bring the palms in front of the chest. Push your palms together. Relax the shoulders. Hold it for three, two, one, and release. Excellent. Shake out those legs. Very, very good. Let's go back to the other side. We're not done with that. We're going to do it again one more time on each side. Remember, you have that option to put that tippy toe on the floor so you have a little bit more security with the balance, okay? You can do that method or bring it up just a little higher above the ankle. I'm gonna do mine with the toe on the floor. Relax shoulders, fingertips out to the side. I'm still really required to engage the core for that balance because really it's just my left foot is on the floor. 
just my little toe on that right foot. Arms up overhead, palms together. Fingertips up to the ceiling. Good, good, good. And bring those palms down. Now next one, push those palms out. There you go, Doug, good. Hold it there for three, nice, Diane. Two, <laughs> one, and bring it all down and in. What is that? It is this chaos over there. Oh my gosh. Are y'all playing a joke on me? <laughs> all right, other side. Left tippy toe on the floor or not. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the tippy toe on the floor. I'm gonna relax my shoulders, engage the core, fingertips to the sides. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Arms overhead, palms together. Push those palms together, fingertips up to the ceiling. There you go, Diane. Now bring those palms down in front of the chest. Good. Push those fingertips out in front of the chest. Nice. Oop, oop. And everything down. Yes. Good job, you two. Very, very good. All right. Shake out the legs. Grab a quick sip if you need one. Next one we're going to do is um, called a chair pose. Okay. You can have the chair nearby and it'll be in front of you. Okay. I'm going to show you the profile of this movement. The feet are not too wide, hip width apart, okay? Not too wide, hip width. So we're gonna push our hips back and out, like we're gonna about to sit on a chair. Meanwhile, those hands and fingertips go up away from the body. So the hips go back and down, knees are soft, fingertips up to the ceiling. Not this way, but out in front, okay? Whew. Now the chair's in front of you, in case you need a little support, you can put one hand down on the chair, not a problem. All right. So let's get in position. Hips go back, core is engaged. Extend those fingertips out and away. And hold there, belly button in the spine for three, two, one. And arms come down, chest comes up. Shake out the legs. Good, good, good. It's not so much the balance on this particular uh, pose it's the strength that's required to hold the pose, okay? Because that strength helps us in all the other balance movements. So let's do it again. Core's engaged, hips go back. You don't have to be down here. Hips go back, fingertips out and away, like someone's pulling your arms away from your body. Excellent. Good, and your head's in between those arms, okay? They're not out here, right there. Nice, hold it there for three, two, one, and arms come down, chest comes up. Nice work with that chair pose. Good, shake out those legs. Okay, now on this one, we're gonna start off, we haven't done this one before, not in this class. We're gonna start off with a split stance, okay? Right foot's in back, left foot's in front, all right? Doesn't have to be a huge wide split stance, just left foot in front, right foot in back. The movement is right leg is gonna come up, arms come up, okay? Let me do that again. Core is engaged, right knee comes up, arms come up, and then back down, okay? The chair is in front in case you need to, you can hold on to the chair, all right? Left leg in front, right leg in back. Five reps, here we go. Arms up, knee up, and hold, two, one and send it back good four more here we go knee up arms up three two one and send it back good again arms up looking straight ahead for three two one and send it back last one on this side arms up knee up straight to the ceiling with those arms Three, two, one, and send it back. Good job, good job. Let's do the other side now. Same thing. It could be a little easier, a little harder, but the chair is there, okay? Don't forget the chair is there in case you need it. All right, now the right foot's gonna be in front, left foot's in back, starting position. 
Looking straight ahead, we're gonna raise that left knee up. Arms both go up to the ceiling. Here we go. Lift and hold. Three, two, one. Extend your back. Good. Again, lift and hold for three, two, one. And send it back. Two more on this side. Here we go. Lift. Three. Three, two, one. And send it back. And last one. Lift. And hold for three, two, one. And send it back. Okay. Not too bad at all. All right. Shake out those legs. Can you hear me? Let me just make sure. Something feels a little weird. Okay, can you guys hear me now? Yeah, something happened, I don't know what. Okay, next movement's gonna be some heel lifts, all right? Now, we've done the heel lifts with the chair, holding the heels up the whole time. That's our first movement right here, okay? Chair can be in front of you. To this side, it's up to you. Keep those heels up right now. No biggie, relax shoulders, cores engage. You could stay in this position all day if you needed to, right? Not really. We wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> Keep holding here for three, two, one, and bring the heels down. Okay, shake it out. Now, next movement, when we lift those heels, we're gonna do some work with the upper body. Okay, so let's go ahead and lift those heels straight up. Up, 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 there you go. Now, jabs right in front. <laughs> there you go, Diane. So you gotta engage that core. Keep your knees soft for five, four, three, two, one, and everything comes down. Yeah! You don't know until you try. No one's asking for perfection, okay? Again, so let's lift those heels straight up. Core is engaged, knees are soft. Now let's go up to the ceiling with those jabs. <laughs> there we go, right and left, right and left. Good. Engage that core. Keep your knees soft for five, four, three, two, one. And everything comes down. All right, Diane. Very good. Shake out those legs. Elevate that right heel in front. Rotate that right ankle. Make sure everything's loosened up now that we're working it. Opposite direction. Good. Bring it down. Other side, left leg elevate and rotate that ankle all the way around. Good, good, good. Opposite direction. Perfect. And bring it down. Good, good. Now, our little ankle dances, okay? So we need a little space, not a whole bunch. And so what we're gonna do, feet about hip width apart, shift the heels over, shift the toes over. Shift the heels, shift the toes, okay? So we're working those ankles a bit. Nothing fast, nothing furious. Exactly, exactly, Diane. Heels and toes, heels and toes. Nice work, heels and toes, heels. Okay, all right, you're getting too fancy for me over there. Heels and toes, and send it back. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Heels and toes, shifting those hips. <sighs> Core's engaged, nice moving with the arms, Diane. And done. <laughs> Grab a quick sip, shake out the legs. We're gonna do another ankle dance, quote unquote ankle dance. Now on this one, we're gonna stay kind of in the same spot. You're not gonna move too much. We're gonna bring the heels together, back out, toes together, back out. I'm sorry, heels and toes. They're not gonna come, as you can see from mine, you're not gonna come exactly complete together. So we'll start neutral position. We'll bring the heels together and heels out. Let's start there. Heels together, heels out. And when I say together, try to bring them close together so they're touching. And when they go out, as far as they can, okay? Heels together, out as far as they can. Again, heels. And out, two more, together, 
and out. Last one. And out. Woo! Good. Shake out the legs. Very nice. We're going to have to do the um, the ankle dance again for a dud so he can participate, Diane. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. We'll get to that one. Now we're going to take the toes two together. That's as close as I can get my toes. And out. Toes together. In, should I say? Not maybe together. And out. In. The other knees kind of come together. That's fine. And out. In. Knees together. And out. In. Good. And out. Two more. In. Get that one a little bit more in. And out. Last one. In. And out. There we go. Good job. Shake out those legs. All right, Diane. Here we go with our ankle dance. Heels and toes. Heels and toes. Let's go. Heels and toes. Got the arms moving. Yes. Arms going, hips going, ankles working both directions. Perfect. Ooh, we got a little snapping there too. I think I see some snapping. All right. <laughs> what song are y'all listening to? Keep it going for three, two, and one. Woo! Perfect. Perfect. Those ankles are warmed up, they're strengthened, and they're stretched. Excellent. All right, let's take it back and grab your chair. Okay, now we're gonna use a chair. Let me see what we have here. Grab your water bottle or a dumbbell, or you can even use your chair. This is gonna be back to our practicing. Something, remember if it's low to the ground, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. The higher you get off from the ground, a little bit more manageable. Right arm, right leg, reach and raise up. Okay, that's our movement. It can be the chair too. Reach and back up. So it just depends on where you're at in terms of how low you wanna go, all right? We're gonna go for 30 seconds so you don't feel rushed. Right hand, right leg. Here we go, reach, inhale, and exhale. Good, keep it going. Inhale, and exhale. Reach. Right now, we're working and focusing on the left leg. Even though it's the right leg that's moving, the left leg, oops, is keeping us stable and upright, okay? Again, reach and raise up. About 10 more seconds, reach and raise up. Go your pace and reach and done good 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 this particular movement is one that is a good one to keep um practicing 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 because there's ways to increase the challenge of it if you get really good doing it this way then we get something lower to the ground or we reach for the ground or we add a little something at the end so this is a good baseline movement to really work on daily 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 Left leg, left hand. Here we go. Let's reach. Let me get a little closer. Reach, inhale, and exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale. We're going to go to the pace that works for you. The chair is there in case you need it. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale, right now the right leg's working, that right ankle, the right glute, the right quad, hamstring and calf. <sighs> About three, two, one, and done. Good, 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 good. Shake out the legs. We're gonna go back to the other side. You wanna do two sets, 30 seconds each. Take your time, okay? Right arm and right leg. Core is engaged. Here we go. Reach, inhale, and back to standing. Exhale. Good. Again, inhale and 
nice reach and raise up keep it going inhale and 10 more seconds good get that breathing pattern down when you're lowering the reach inhale when you're exhaling you're standing up good done 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 let's go to the other side left arm left leg reaching and lifting okay and that right leg is working here we go core is engaged stand and reach inhale and exhale reach inhale and exhale a lot of muscles working to keep you upright inhale and exhale everything from your foot your right foot all the way up to your chest and shoulders five seconds and done <laughs> what was that Diane at the end everything looked good until yeah it was just a free-for-all there at the end free-for-all <laughs> grab a quick sip if you need one do you cool down stretches and we're done 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 let's face the seat of our chair okay palms on the seat and that right leg we're gonna step back okay and shift your hips forward shift a little stretch in that right um hip flexor in front a little bit on that right ankle and calf hold it there for three two and one bring the right foot in same thing let's step back and out with that left shift the hips forward as best as possible it's a little bit of a deeper stretch than when we stand behind the chair hold it for three two and one and bring the left leg in good turn that chair around right ankle cross it over the left and reach curve that body on the right hand side reach the left side of the room as far as you can take it good without turning and looking down for three two and one very nice release the leg now you're going to cross that left ankle in front of that right now that left arm is going to go all the way to the right side of the room keep the chest up i don't want you leaning forward chest up shoulders back good nice curve in the body for three two and one and release let's roll those shoulders two and one and opposite direction for three two and done good job very good thank you guys